What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So we're doing a live reaction to the Borrow stuff today, and let's hope we've got something good. He finally had the mod booster for me last time, so I'm really not too worried about what Borrow's bringing, but realistically, I'm thinking about like a glyph, probably, like a, maybe a 10th anniversary glyph from Borrow. Uh, if it's a new Prime mod, I'd be honestly super shocked, but uh, yeah. Hope you guys have been enjoying Warframe and the new updates, and the dev stream and all that. Been, uh... I've been enjoying covering the game, so that's been nice. And, uh, yeah. You know, got some new rhythms for those new Incarnons that were leaked for a couple days, and now they're no longer leaked, because DE showed us to them on the stream. So, just a quick recap. If you didn't know this, there are new Incarnons on the way. Boar Incarnon, uh, Anku Incarnon, Gimakor Incarnon, Angstrom Incarnon, and the last one is also the Gorgon Incarnon. So, yeah, five new Incarnon Genesis on the way. And Barra will be here in, like, like 10 seconds. So, let's thank them for the damage. Bless. I'm actually going to be going on, like, a quick little mini vacation for a day or two here. So, I will upload this video and I will not be back until uh, Sunday night for the weekly reset. But I have some video scheduled, so don't worry about the videos not going up on the channel. It will be on the, li on the live stream on Sunday night as usual. Our Barra. I gave you 60,000 ducats last time, dude. What are you going to have to show for that? That's a lot of ducats. Let's hope he upgraded his wares to an extent. And a reminder, Borrow is the same on all platforms. Now, Borrow used to be different on, like, you know, console and all that. But now we have the same Borrow on every single platform. And it should be a puff of smoke that he appears right where that, uh... That's a hydroid is standing. So, yeah. There we go. Borrow tier has arrived. And, ooh, a new ephemera! Okay. Uh, I can, can't really see it that well. I think it's it's an ephemera you walk around with. So let me go ahead and purchase that. If you like we'll show that, that off in the, in the ship. I might turn my effects up. We can take a look at that. Uh, besides the new ephemera, we've got three prime mods. Prime smite infested for melees. Uh, prime fast hand for rifles. And prime shard shell for shotguns. Going to be not really the most metal ones, to be honest, but pretty decent choices. Uh, we also got, what do we, what do we got, any boosters this week? No boosters this week. Oh, we got Prime Fulmination uh, sneaked in at the bottom. There's actually four Prime mods this week. Just uh, organized a little bit strange. So, yeah. Smite Infested, Fast Hands, Prime Shard Shell, and Prime Fulmination. So, as far as must-have mods on these Prime mods, none of them are really must-have mods. Um, but, you know, Prime Shard Shell is really nice for, like, corrosive builds and things of that nature. And uh, maybe pick it up. Uh, but yeah, Prime Fulmination is very nice for exploding pistols if you want to go for more AoE. But sometimes you just want to go for max damage, so not needed. Uh, as far as appearance stuff, this is what you got. If that's anything that you're looking to buy, I mean, be my guest. You got this new Katir Reverence Ephemera, which is, which is pretty nice. 250 ducats, 350,000 credits. For weapons, you have the Quanta Vandal, which I do like, but there's no Quanta Incarnon, unfortunately. Uh, and there's also the Prisma Obex, which I don't really like that much. But, uh, hey, these are the two uh, weapons, and they're, they're at least Mastery Fodder. Uh, and then for the generic random stuff at the end, we got this stuff. So as far as doing a full borrow review of what I think you should get if you are playing Warframe this week, uh, yeah, get this new borrow ephemera. I'm going to show it off of the ship just to see, just to show like how it looks. Um... Yeah, as far as like reselling stuff, Prime Fulmination is usually a pretty good resell. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Prime Shard Shell is really a mod that people are buying that often. But I also, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. I know that Fulmination is one that people do buy. Um, the other two, like Infested Smite, eh, not really a needed mod. Uh, Prime Fast Hands. There's times you can put it on too, but also we have auto reloadable holstered mods too, so not needed either. So, um, yeah, I'd say if if I were you and getting the bare minimums of what he's got this this week, uh, get your Mastery Fodder if you don't have it already. Get the new ephemera because it looks like it might be kind of cool and it's new. And, uh, yeah, get any mods that you think that you want and that, uh, at least I told you, are pretty good. Like, for example, Fulmination, maybe get that one if you don't have a bigger AOE for pistols. So, that's Borrowed Inventory. Let's go take a quick peek at this ephemera in my ship. Um, and, yeah, he has no boosters. It's okay. It's okay. He, uh, Tenokan Borrow will be here on the, the 26th of August. So, he's still got, like, over a month to wait. But, um... You know, in the, in the meantime, he's got, I think he's got like three more visits or something before uh, Tenokan. He's going to have a new stuff every time. All right, let's start with that new ephemera. Take off my fish ephemera. Okay, so attachments, soaker ephemera. It's Katir. 
Reverence Ephemera. Okay. So let's see. Should be, like you should see what I'm walking around. Okay, so unless you like really jam up. So with my current visual effects settings, it looks like I have no ephemera equipped. So this is this is an ephemera that's gonna require some uh, setting changes. I can do that. It's fine. Uh, it might also be an energy effects thing. So uh, we'll, we'll leave it like that for now. Here, how about I put like, some green on here so it's really noticeable? There we go. Green there. And I don't even remember what uh, which one of these actually changes the ephemera colors. I'll change this back afterwards. It's going to make it green so it's super noticeable on the ephemera. Okay, there we go. All green. There's no way you should be able to, shouldn't be able to see it. Okay, so yeah, unless you like really change, like you, you jam up your effect settings, you're not going to see this one. I wonder if that's intended. Um, okay, so let's go to video. And then I guess it would be like effects or something. <laughs> Geometry, texture, memory, particle, graphics engine. I, I can't see the ephemera. What am I supposed to put on here? Um, let's just turn on like effects. Like, can I search effects or something? Sound effects, visual effects. Here we go. All right, we put the visual effects at 65 from 10. This should be noticeable now. Okay, cool. So every time you take a step, my cape is covering it. Okay, so yeah, if you have the if you have a cape uh, cape equipped, you can't see the ephemera, but there is a small energy effect when I when I walk around with this. Let me take off this cape. I, I know you have to like change all this stuff to see it, but maybe it'll be worth it in the end after you change like four settings and to remove all your fashion frame. Okay, now now I've removed the cape. It is uh, it does exist. It's kind of cool. Like yeah, you can see like a small little green energy trail where my character's foot is. How about like jump, just bullet jumping? It does not seem like the best ephemera, I'll admit. It's, it's one of those ephemeras where you see a small thing when you walk. So... Pretty underwhelming. Hey, it's a new ephemera, though. It's a free ephemera. I can't complain. Um, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to go back to the fish ephemera probably right after that. Looks like they're... Uh, yeah, I'd say it's worth getting, at least. I don't know if it's worth, like, using this ephemera, really, because it's... Hardly noticeable, and I kind of want ephemeras to be, like, noticeable when I use them. As far as standing still, um, it doesn't look like there's much to this one. Well, either way, guys, um, I, I do think it's probably worth buying at least 250 ducats uh, for that, I, I guess. And, um, yeah, there's probably some look out that looks nice on, like, maybe on, like, Nova or Sevagoth or something. We have so many ephemeras nowadays, though. They must go unequip that one and put on the one I had already, but... Either way, that's your borrow. Uh, hopefully it's enjoyable and helpful to you guys. I'm going to go back to sleep and then I'm going to go on vacation for a day or two. So I'll see you guys on Sunday night for the weekly reset. I appreciate your support and I will see you next time. Enjoy your ephemera and uh, other stuff. Take it easy, guys. Peace.